Here's Matt watering his plants. Yet another day here at Auto Stance. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the Sylvia is finally legal. Finally, finally, it's been two months and three or four days since it was taken. Um, we eventually had to do a lot of shit. So, a bit of a recap. Uh, we got new AR1 tires all around, new tie rod connectors. We had to fix a brake boosting issue. Uh, we got new rotors and pads. We got a new exhaust because that was leaking. We got new tail lights because those were too black. We got a new rear stop light. Um, what else is new? Harnesses, uh, Haltech ECU, the tune, and it's all running way better and looking pretty good. So, ready to go to the shop and get the D Max bonnet put on, and then we'll take it to custom coatings and get the 326 wing and everything installed. But we're gonna take it for a quick rip now. I only just got the WAF yesterday uh, afternoon. So, yeah, need to go take the car, give it a clean, and just give it a good old rip. So it looks a bit different now. We got the OEM tail lights and uh, just a cheeky little pipe out the back for a little quick exhaust because I had to get it for the WAF yesterday. I literally got a, like they failed me on the exhaust and I went right next door, got them to cut off the exhaust, put a new cook on and then went right back. So yeah, but yeah, everything is looking pretty good. So just picked it up from Auto Stars now for the last time. Well, now that it's legal and everything, so I'm gonna go for a boost with Chrissy and get his reaction to the, the much smoother yet faster power band that actually uh, puts the power down. So let's go. Let's go. So last time any of the boys came for a ride in the car, we had the six-year-old bald tires on it and the tune was just fucked, so it was kind of all over the place. Um, definitely probably scarier than it will be now, but I reckon it feels faster than it used to because you've got traction and uh, yeah, you just fucking, it, these tires grip so well. And um, yeah, the tune is just really nice. It's just running so much better overall than before. So I'm gonna hand the keys over to uh, one of our other friends. He's gonna take it for a quick rip for Chris and uh, hopefully Chris gets a good reaction when he's driving. And I'll be uh, I'll be watching from the sidelines. stance always always to the rescue so we got a little bit of a towy going on shop boys yeah that front bumper's fucked eh Oh, what was that? That's bent. That's yeah, fine. That was that was always like that. Anything actually bent? Something's fucked up. I can't see anything this obvious. Is, no, this is definitely this that's is, bent. This is definitely bent. Is it? Yeah, that's, it's coming from this angle. Yeah. It's fucking warped. Oh yeah, a little bit. Oh, extended lock control arm time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Watch so out for the white shoes. <laughs> oh. 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 
Yeah, they'll be real hot, people. Fuck. Oh my god, you actually took the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's more! <laughs> We're just going everywhere. What the? <laughs> How'd you do it? Call me Shovel. <laughs> shovel 13. Well, not sure exactly what happened there, but um, yeah, we had a bit of an oopsie. Front bumpers definitely fucked, but everything else seems all right. Maybe one of the lower control arms are bent. What do you think? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. One hour later. Finally got the Sylvia home. Um, in the end, there wasn't really anything wrong. The guard is a little bit fucked up, and the control arm might need to be replaced, we're gonna see, but it drives fine, it's all good, it kinda needs an alignment, it did anyway. But yeah, it could've been a lot worse. The car is like very, very front biased to the brakes, so it's quite easy to lock it up, so you need to just modulate it yourself. Nah, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's just I'm just shit. Um, but anyway, me, Chris and Dean are now gonna go into the city where my work, uh, Rocket Works, is having an open day. So, uh, if you guys didn't know, we just moved into the tallest office in the country, level 38 of uh, the new PwC tower downtown. So we're having an open day where our friends and family can come along and uh, take a look at the view, see the office, play the game and everything. So it's going to be really fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to leave there for a sec and show you guys what it's like. Okay, so I'm just on my way down now uh, from the office to the lobby to go get uh, my mum is going to come have a look and her partner, my stepdad, and then Chris and Dean coming up as well. So as you can see, we're going down the elevator right now, 38 floors. Um, so we're going to get their reaction going back up and then their reaction to the office and everything. And then, yeah, just have a good time, play the game that we've been working on. Well, not really me, but I've been documenting other people working on. And yeah, should be a fun time. This um, is the fastest lift in Australasia. Is it? Yeah. Is it? It's pretty scary, yeah, like, what a lot. Oh, it's Erica, it's it going up. Oh, no. Oh, that's way too fast. God, I feel sick just watching it. It's better. Oh, you, think, you think this is, then it's just a big dinner. Oh, way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Cool. Even if you're really hungover or something, you think yeah. you're going to lose Yeah, that's the pressure, yeah. Oh, that's working. Yeah, it's hot, mate. Oh. Pretty. Look at those people bungee jumping. Oh, this guy's Oh, yeah, it's not safe. Yeah, it's safe. Oh, this is Yeah. Oh, this is sick, bro. <laughs> and this is the entrance to the whole office, so it's meant to feel like you're in space, and then you go through like an airlock, and you go into your little spaceship, which is kind of like, the premise of the game. So th this is um, time lapses from the game. This is actually recorded in game. Yes, it's real moss. Why is it poisonous moss in our workplace? Because it's poisonous, bro. You don't don't touch it's it. It's not poisonous. You just don't uh, touch it. That's what we tell the kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could have had coffee here. Yeah. I know. Oh, <laughs> Jesse, like, nice. you've a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> hey Dina. And cake! And cookies! <laughs> this is a bit like um, porch place. Does it get warm in here? Nah, the AC is usually pretty good. This is really cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. Go first person, see like when you hit a tree, you have to actually, you know, like pretty... Good. See. And, and you chop into logs. Yeah. That's so cool. And so every the map is eight by eight kilometers and every single tree and every single rock is mineable. Yeah. Really? So like millions of trees and millions of rocks. Yeah, once more. <laughs> you run so fast. I know.
Yo. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you like my brand new windscreen? Yeah, it's pretty fucking dirty, man. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Alright, so we're back in the S13. Just picked it up this morning. And uh, we got a little, little bump in the hood. Nice. What is that? Oosh! Is that a fucking SR20 under that fucking vent? But yeah, got the new D-Max bonnet installed and painted. So, um, just gonna go for a cruise now with Dino. Uh, go to the dairy. And then I'll show you guys the DMAX bonnet when we get back. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go and do a POV drive with the GoPro on my head and just go out into the um, into the country roads and do some sort of the POV, you know, like a, almost like an ASMR video, just 10 minutes of pure driving. Might put the mic on the back, do some uh, high quality turbo noises, but yeah, car's running mint. So this is the new D-Max hood. It looks fucking mean. Super aggressive. Looks mad from the front. Fitment isn't perfect, I need to fix it on that side a little bit. Um, but you know, pretty nice. Just got here from Japan like a few days ago. Super nice thanks to, um, fuck what's that guy's name? I can't remember, I can't remember your name, but I will put your username up on here. Thanks for sourcing it for us. I uh, got it from Japan, ordered it like two months ago, three months ago maybe. So super nice, really happy with that. And we got some new bonnet pins for it as well. So these ones, a lot more sturdy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty filthy otherwise. Um, this fender's a tiny bit damaged and front bumper's a bit cracked from a little whoopsie earlier. It's gonna look super aggressive. Like look at the side profile, it even has a little like thing from there. And then when it's got the roof wing and the 326 there, it's gonna look fucking mad. And the rear bumper, the big bulky one's gonna help a lot with that sort of low fat Sylvia look, so. Stoked? Question mark? I just got this fucking main story, it's called gang shit. Like... Now, like, in a mix shit, like, as well. We back. And also, like, all the users, bro, like, all these people that use it every day, like... Yeah, it's pretty good. Um... Alright, so that's pretty much it for this episode guys, I hope you enjoyed, if you did subscribe down below, leave a comment what you want to see next, well, next will be tomorrow probably, I want to go out to that POV drive with the GoPro, so look forward to that tomorrow, maybe the next day, but uh, yeah, otherwise, have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.